last week. Okay. Hey, 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 of course we are. Our buddy Robin Thicke, and guess what? He's saying, see you later, Miley Cyrus, with your foam finger. I want Chicago in on my act instead. No, it wasn't his decision. Somebody made it up, though. That's a great collaboration. Yeah. Interesting, interesting collaboration. Chicago yeah. will be yeah. wearing beige bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're on our way to the Grammys next week. We're going, we're going to uh, L.A., so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be great. We're going to have a national breakfast television uh, Friday and the Monday, next Friday, next Monday. It's so going to be a, so fun. The whole team heading down there. A lot we, of the team. We uh, said <laughs> so the whole team. Yeah, Everybody the whole, everyone's everyone's like, the camera going? Going. What do you mean the whole team? <laughs> are you going, Wendy? Oh, you're Wendy not going. Wendy says no. She's not going. Winston? Uh, Winston, are you going? Oh, Winston, Winston's going. Marcus? Mark's going. Mark's But not Wendy. Oh. Okay, well, hold it down here. Mark's holding it down in LA. Look, Wendy right. doesn't, she really doesn't care. She's like, she, there's nothing, go, you know, you're I'm like, fine. better. I'm good. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're with us in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Thank She's you, like, two days without Kevin and Dina, I'm in. <laughs> Uh, one hour from now, just a little less than an hour from now, we'll have the Oscar nominations for you here on Breakfast Television. Uh, they will be happening live in uh, Beverly Hills. Uh, Liam Hemsworth is the one doing the announcements. Chris, Hottie yeah, Chris, Patati. Chris oh, it's Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. I always yes. get that wrong. I know. I know. So do I. I know Chris and Liam. Yeah. yeah. Um, what we have uh, now, now. This is this is interesting because we just had the Golden Globes, and everyone is is saying they're the precursor. And in fact, a lot of people who vote for the Golden Globe uh, awards vote also in, vote and quit the Academy. Yeah. Uh, so, what I want to talk about is Gravity, this movie that we were all a buzz about. In, You're in, upset. In, in, no, I'm not upset. No, I'm just. I'm just. It, it's funny how the industry works. It was a shoe in. It was an absolute shoe in when it was released here at TIFF. And for, for weeks afterwards, this was going to dominate the Oscars. And now they're wondering if it'd even get, get a mention in the, the categories that are of vital importance. It's going to so, get a lot of technical uh, nods. Because it came out so long ago, mm -hmm. all the buzz fizzles. But you're right, this is one of those movies everybody talked about it after seeing it. You were blown away, as you can see there, literally, by all of the special effects and how realistic it looked and the plot line and everything. Brad, what did he get at the Globes? He got Best Director, didn't Best it? Director, yeah. Best and Director. Sandra Bullock was nominated. She was. The thing about this is why I think it's lost a little momentum. You remember when they were at TIFF, they closed down the entire street. But yeah. it was because of the star power. You have George Clooney and Sandra mm -hmm. Bullock. Those are the two biggest, pretty much A-list celebrities you have right now. The problem with this movie is it's a little too much on the seat. You know what I mean? It was a lot of, it was almost like a castaway. One character for the entire movie. It's a lot of weight to fall on the shoulders of one person, even though it was technically great. I think it's going to get a lot of technical awards. Of course, yeah. But did you think we don't Sandra... See, we don't see those awards. Those are the awards oh, that yeah, are handed up true. before the show even starts. And Well, and... you get some, like cinematography, right? Yeah. You get costumes. Now, American Hustle uh, is one that we need to be watching. The two you really have to watch for, American Hustle and uh, 12 Years a Slave. And 12 Years a Slave, as well as Thank Wolf of Wall Street. Right. And what are we forgetting? We're forgetting I something. Jesus that as well. I don't know if it's... Yeah, August Osage. Uh, Dallas Buyers, yes. Yeah. You, this, the thing is, is that the Golden Globes have best uh, motion picture for drama and comedy is separate. So this one, the Oscars try to amalgamate those two and make a top ten list. That's It's, it's been a couple of years now that they've put ten movies in, up to ten movies, yeah. instead of just the normal five. So there's going to be a lot of variety for... But there is a lot of good movies this, this year. I was talking to Mo earlier. This is one of the few... Usually there's a yes. runaway. This is one of the few years. Yeah. There's a lot of great movies. Movies out there, Oscar-worthy <laughs> movies and performances. And think of it, David O. Russell, Martin Scorsese, some of the best directors nominate against each other. Yeah. Uh, Blue Jasmine uh, is, is something we had to watch for. There was, there was a bit of a bit of a backlash at the was at the Globes where the where Woody Allen got the uh, the Lifetime Achievement Awards. Yeah. Right. An incredible, incredible movie maker. But they're saying you can't. How can you just erase and deny and not, you know, look at all the, that he has done wrong? Not in his an incredible life. human being. But no yeah, one brought that up until his son uh, took a Twitter war against him mm -hmm. the day after, saying, "Listen, how are we giving this guy a lifetime achievement award while all of this has <laughs> gone on?" So, but in the respects of movie, great movie maker. So we'll have uh, we'll have the nominations as they happen, uh, with Chris Hemsworth uh, reading them. Uh, coming up, it, it, the exact time is 8.38. All right, the exact time is at 8.38. Where Thor will deliver the announcements with his gauntlet in hand. What is that thing he uses? The hammer. hammer. It, it, it is what suit do you call too. that hammer? He's going to do it in the Thor the suit. <laughs> that would be awesome if he was in his Thor suit. Uh, <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be fantastic. This is why you don't plan these things. <laughs> let's have, Boring let's have, uh, suit and tie. Do you plan that? Come um, on, shake it up. We, we are also getting ready to um, hit the ice.
coming up as soon as we leave the show, as soon as at 9 o'clock happens, there, that's what you're going out in. Oh, what is that? That's a contraption in a house. A caterpillar kind of thing. Yeah. That's what you're going out in, so not to worry. So we're going out, and you know what? You can still see land. It's okay. And there's the hut we're going to be in. Are we going to be in number seven? Do you know what I thought during commercial break we showed? Moving on like a tractor trailer, and I thought you sit in the hut, and the hut has a hole in it, like the Flintstone car, and they drive you right over the hole. And if the fish aren't biting, you sit in the hut and they drive you to the next hole. <laughs> don't steal that idea, Ice Fisheries. <laughs> I'm going to patent that. That's a good one. You don't have to leave your hut, Kev. And, and fish, you know what? Fish, fish like it, like it when you sing. They will come to the holes when you're you sing. You're lying. Sing. Try it. You're just, see, here you go. You're pulling my leg right now. I, is he telling the truth? Is he not telling the you're truth? You're fishing for fish trouble. Fish like singing. I'm going to Google that. Do they like a particular song? It's not anywhere on Google. It's just some, it's just it's, it's just a little known fact. Okay. I can't wait to hear you put it to the test. Uh, it is uh, 758, uh, 756 I should say right now on Breakfast Television. We'll be right back. Stay with us.